Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Vincent Henri and Art with Miss C. I hope you've enjoyed our other videos and learning and creating with us. Today's lesson is inspired by the famous artist Henri Matisse. That's right, the same artist that our bluefish Henri is named after. We'll be learning about the life of Henri Matisse, looking at some of his artworks, especially his painting of the goldfish from 1912 with its bold and bright colors and organic shapes. And then we'll be using what we've learned to create our own version of Henri Matisse's goldfish. For today's drawing lesson, you're going to need paper, a black crayon or a black marker, and something to add color to your artwork. You can use colored pencils or crayons, markers or paint. Whatever you have is fine. Remember, if you need a minute to get your supplies or if you just wanna watch another step on the video again, all you have to do is pause and rewind the video. Now, show me Mona Lisa and I'll know that you're ready to begin. I'll know that you're ready to create when I see you sitting up straight and tall with your eyes watching, your ears listening, your mouth closed into a quiet smile, and your hands placed neatly in your lap. Great, let's get started. Henri Matisse was born a long time ago in 1869 in a small town in France. His parents owned a general store and they wanted Henri to take over the family business, but he decided to become a lawyer instead. When he was 20 years old, Henri became very sick and had to go into the hospital. While he was in the hospital, his mother brought him a set of paints to help pass the time, and from that point on, Henri Matisse wanted to become an artist. Henri Matisse loved color. He joined a group of artists called the Fauves, which is French for wild beasts. They got this nickname because of the wild way that they painted with bold and bright colors. Henri Matisse painted the goldfish in 1912, and it became one of his most famous fauve paintings. See all of the bright colors he used and the organic shapes of the leaves and the flowers? Look at how Henri Matisse used ellipses or ovals to create the fishbowl and the reflection of the water. When Henri Matisse was much older, he got cancer and because he was too weak to stand and paint anymore, he began to create large, colorful paper cutouts and arranged them with the help of his assistants. Henri Matisse called this drawing with scissors. Now that I have my paper, a black marker, and some markers to add color to my picture, I'm all ready to get started drawing my goldfish just like Henri Matisse. To begin our drawing, the very first thing that we're going to do is find the middle of our paper. We're going to draw an oval in the middle of our paper for the bottom of our goldfish bowl. Next, we're going to add two straight vertical lines for the side of our goldfish bowl. Then another ellipse or another oval for the top of the bowl. I'm going to make a curved line connecting my two vertical lines here and then another curved line underneath. Great. Now I'm going to draw a large round line for my table. I'm going to start near the bottom of my goldfish bowl and go around and over to the other side. Now I can add in whatever kind of legs I want for my table. They can be straight or curved. You can even add a decoration or some other shape underneath your table connecting the legs there. Okay. Now I'm going to add a third ellipse or a third oval for the reflection on the top of my water. So I'll find kind of the middle of my goldfish bowl and add in the top of my water there. Now I just need to draw a line in the background 
for the wall and the floor. And I'm gonna to start to fill my background with lots of big organic shapes. Now organic shapes are those shapes that you find in nature, shapes like leaves and flowers. So I'm gonna fill my background with some big leaf shapes like house plants that Henri Matisse probably had in his house next to his goldfish bowl. You can create all different types of organic leaf shapes. And I'll do some more heart-shaped leaves on this side. You can have some leaves in front or behind. Add some flower shapes. few more. There we go. Now all we have to do is add our fish to the goldfish bowl and a few more organic shapes in the foreground or the front part of our paper. Draw in a little fish shape. There's one swimming this way. Maybe another swimming that way. And maybe the reflections at the top. And a few more organic shapes here. few more plants. And now the only thing left to do is add color to your picture. Remember, you can add all sorts of different organic shapes, different kinds of leaves and flowers to your picture. You can change the colors of the table or the fish or even the background. You can make your artwork your own. I hope you enjoyed learning and creating with us today. I'd love to see photos of your Henri Matisse goldfish drawings or any of the art that you've made. You can email us your pictures at vincent.henri.andmissc at gmail.com. Don't forget to check back here later for more projects and ideas on Vincent Henri and Art with Miss C. Vincent and Henri and I hope that you'll keep creating keep learning new things, and spend more time with us again soon. Bye!